CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. This is a brief tutorial video to show how to use the IP Tool software to configure Avalon XQT series cameras. Feel free to pause or rewind if you miss a step or if I am too fast to follow. Otherwise, feel free to purchase a networking support session and one of our techs will provide hands-on assistance Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the East Coast. So first, I need to have the IP tool installed. I'm going to assume that you know how to download and install software. So I have it installed here in my Windows computer. I'm going to click to open it, and it is just called IP Tool 2.0. It instantly pulled up my camera here, and I see that it has this IP address of 192.168.226.201. Now you need to set your cameras if you want to use them over your local network, your local computer network with a PoE switch, and add them to your NVR over your network. You need to make sure that this camera is set to a compatible IP address for your network. So the first step in this process is to find what your IP address scheme is for your network. The computer you're doing this from must be on the same network as the cameras are going to be on. So in other words, you're going to want the com camera and computer to be connected to the same switch or same router so that you can configure them. So in order to find that IP address scheme, I need to click my Windows button and then type in CMD. That's Charlie Michael Delta. CMD will bring up the command prompt. I need to open the command prompt. I'm going to drag it into my window here. And then the command is IPConfig. I as in India, P as in Papa, C as in Charlie, O as in Oscar, N as in November, F as in Foxtrot, I as in India, Jizz and golf, IP config, and hit enter. So this computer I'm on happens to have a lot of different Ethernet adapters and Wi-Fi adapters. However, you're going to want to find on your computer the one that says Ethernet adapter 1 or whatever it is named on your computer. It may, need, need, mean, <clears throat> it may be named LAN 1 or Ethernet 1. And then you'll find the IP address of the computer that you're on that it's set to. And then you'll find your default gateway. So this is the router in my network. And this is the IP address scheme that I need to set my camera to. And I know that it can't be this IP address or this IP address because then it would be duplicate. So you might want to first ping. It's going to be P-I-N-G. P as in Papa. I as in India. N as November. G as in Golf. Type in your IP address scheme. Again, in this example, it's 192.168.1, which is a standard IP address scheme on a lot of routers. And then you're going to want to add anywhere from 2 to 254 at the end. I'm going to use 109, which just so happens to be our default IP address on a lot of our products, and hit Enter. So what I'm doing when I'm pinging this IP address I'm checking to see if something already exists because I don't want a duplicate IP address in my network. So after four pings, it says destination host unreachable, which is great. That means that there's nothing there. I can set a new device to this IP address and have it work in my local network. So now in order to do that, the next step is to go back to the IP tool 2.0. Device network search. It's searching the network for my device. It found my camera. It still has this IP address, which you'll note is not compatible with my network scheme. And then its gateway is also a different gateway. Now on the right hand side of the software, there is a modify network parameter section. And here's where you'll enter in the IP address that you want to set. So I tested 192.168.1.109. So that's the IP address I want to set. Next, you need to set the gateway to match the gateway. This is going to be the gateway that you saw in the command prompt. So I'm going to set it to 1. And here is the what can be the tricky part, depending on what password is actually set on your camera. If you got the camera from us with a label on the top of the box, that's where its password will be. 
Otherwise, if it's factory defaulted like this camera is, then the password will be one, two, three, four, five, six. The third option is if you've connected it to your NVR, then it will get the admin password from your NVR. So again, the three options are, if you got it from us and it's a single camera and it has a label on its box, that will be its password. If you just have a factory defaulted camera, you will see it here in your config tool with a default IP address. And then the last option is if you've connected it to your NVR, then it got the password from your NVR. Like I said, this was a factory defaulted camera on my network, so its password is 123456, and I entered that in. Now I would click the Modify button to make sure that it changes this IP address. So it says Modify the device network parameters successfully, and then you'll note in the background that it did change the IP address for my camera. So I can click OK, and I see it set to that IP address. And if I want to make sure, I'll just go back to my command prompt, type in ping again, and then 192.168.1.109, and hit enter. And now I'm getting a reply. So this means the camera is connected to my network, and it is accessible. I'll show that in a web browser. I was able to get to the web interface of my camera, so I know it's successfully configured for my network, and now I could add it to my NVR over the network with the IP address I set, the username, and the password. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.